Hi, I'm Bryce Shivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. Do you want your living room to look like this? Yes. Invest in a dead animal. Dead pets. Dead pets. Dead, dead pets. pets. At our store, Dead Pets, we have something for the taxidermy lover of all ages. Hey, Lisa, where's the towels? What? The hand towels. Oh my gosh. I used one of the rabbits. I'm really sorry about the loss of your bird. You should consider using taxidermy. So the transition from dead animal to dead pet is really all about stuffing. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Seal it up. It's very much like sewing. And I've sewn my finger into the you have? skull. Yeah. I'm so sorry about your finger. Oh, there we go. It's oh, fine. OK, great. Dead pets. Not sleeping, not fake, just dead. They're dead. Dead pets. <laughs>
And Gresham. And again, what were you doing on the night of August 12th? Anything? What were you doing on the 12th of August? It's not about me. It's about you. August? 12th. By what calendar? The modern calendar. The whole month? I mean, that's a long time. We're just worried about the 12th. What were you doing on the 12th of August? Suspects await trial in the latest twist in the taxidermy fire. Neighbors living in the St. John's neighborhood weighed in. We're shocked. We can't believe that these people would do something like that. Like what? Good morning, Portland. We begin this morning with the latest on the taxidermy fire. What possessed two weirdos to burn down a local taxidermy shop? As the trial approaches, we turn now to a former weirdo so we can look into the mind of the weirdo. Chad, you say you were a weirdo for five years. That's correct. As a weirdo, were you first-generation weirdo, or did weirdoness run in your family? Most weirdos are first-generation. It's a rejection of the normals they come from. Did you find that women were attracted to weirdos? Weirdo women were attracted uh, to weirdos. All right, well, welcome back to the Thank normal you. world. You're very normal. We appreciate you. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. It was great. I mean, they're guilty, right? All right, we're in agreement. Aside from look at them, I mean, just look at their actions. I mean, that's yeah. a real crime. These are people that are eating very unhealthy food. Yeah, mashed potatoes with sugar. You know, they're listening to scary music and checking out, you know, dark pathways on the internet, and then they're committing crimes. Yeah. You know, these, these weirdos are just, you know, these are, these are mountain people. One thing they're guilty of is having terrible parents. These parents are taxed, and they're working three or four jobs, sometimes at night. And these kids are left to their own devices. They would have a better shot being raised by wolves. Because at least they'd have a sense of family. And what would you do if you are in that situation? If I had parents like that, would I burn down a, a store? You better believe it. I'd burn down the whole block. I'd like to submit some evidence of the case. Uh, this is Britt, our daughter. Beautiful. That is a case for good parenting. And that's someone who's going to be I mean, con contributing to society. She's looking into doing Teach for America in Atlanta next year. Maybe some modeling, too. Just to... or, or modeling on the side. But yeah. we raised her with hopes and with dreams, and we said, the world is your oyster. And she's just grabbing it by the horns. We got lucky, because we have a very good daughter. This is a good person. I'm just glad that we raised Britt right. Ugh. Well, wonder what Satan's parents were like. <laughs> Mr. Hirschfeld, what do you have to say about the undeniable evidence against your client? No comment. Hey, my, my sources tell me that you're a former weirdo, sir. Do you care to comment? Uh, no comment. Sir, 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 sir. OK, we'll start with the opening statement of the prosecution. Look around the room. If Central Casting provided us with two weirdos, it would be those two. We don't have to prove they're weird. They've done it for us, so obviously they're guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. OK, short and sweet. Let's hear from the defense. The weirdo has always been an outcast, an outsider, a social pariah, and a scapegoat. Being weird is not a crime. <laughs> Am I arrested? No. Weirdos are what made this country S-T-R-O-N-G. Weirdos, E-I, E-I, E-I-E-I-O. Come on. Benjamin Franklin was a weirdo. Do normal people fly kites with keys attached? No. Weirdos do. Weirdos were the first people to eat kale, the first people to try marijuana, to write poems, to fall in love. I plan to prove the innocence of these two by proving their guilt. Yes, they are weirdos. But weirdos should be allowed to be weird in peace. The real perpetrator of this crime. Check, check, one, two, 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 two. How's everybody doing today? We want to confess to this crime. The weirdos didn't do it. We did it. It's, it's a confession from someone else, from different weirdos. Is it different weirdos who are confessing? We did it. Two, three, two, eight. Not the 
I'm standing at the corner of Southwest 4th and Salmon where we have mass musicians on the rooftop singing a confession. They are singing, we did it, we did it, referring to the taxidermy fire. They say they it's are vindication for the weirdos. For it wasn't the weirdos. It appears this message is political in nature. They don't like taxidermy. They feel it is offensive to the dead animals that they should rest in peace. Down with taxidermy. We did the crime, not doing the time. We did it, we did it. Let the winners be. Okay, let's close up. I'm gonna set the alarm. Okay, I'll just get my bag. Tony, don't move. St mm. Just stay still for a minute, okay? Candace? Yeah? Can I move my head? No, this is a motion sensor. Away and set. Oh. 60 seconds. Great, okay. Where are you going? It's a little allergic. I was gonna bring one of these. Candace, you know I have a box of tissues on my dashboard. Well, I know. I just would like to use this one so I'm not wasting yours. Just use this, please. But you're always welcome to borrow a tissue from me. I won't even get out. Candace. There we go. Are you ready? Left is left, right is right. Fold inside and then it's might. No, left. Fold the fold the tissue Candace? to the left. Candace. Hmm? Are you ready? Yes, because we should go because it's beeping. I agree. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You want me to drive? Yes, please. It's fine. Ah! Get back! Who are you? 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 What do you want? What's going on? Help! I'm struggling! No, I will not stop struggling! Brandon, go turn off the alarm! Tony, are you okay? You're gonna pay for this, you know. Ow! Ow! Sorry. To the people in the park store, this is the Portland police. We got you surrounded. Help! No! What I'd like you to do is just come on out with your hands up and listen to the officer's instructions. Now that's police. Are you happy? I'm live outside the Women and Women First bookstore on North Killingsworth inside two of the band members who on the rooftop admitted their guilt to the taxidermy fire. We are getting some information about them. The first suspect is Brandon Sanders. He has ties to Portland area eco-terrorist groups. Also inside the second suspect is a woman, Britt Wilder. Her <laughs> name is Brittany. She chooses, however, to go by Britt. We do not have any suspect vehicle information at this time. We do not have... Uh, <laughs> Suspects are at large. Protest! Hello! Hold on, hold on. What? What's that? No, man. Okay. Cops? Why didn't we think this through? Why didn't you think it through? You're like, we'll be fine. It's your idea. It's not my idea. Hide everything. Wait, this is how you are in a crisis? We're going to jail. Hi there. Hi. Where are we going today? Uh, we are... Just driving around. We're yeah. just driving, you know, checking out the nature. Just going through the highway, uh, out to the nature. Yeah. Over there to there. <laughs> yeah. To visit nature. Yeah. May I see your license and registration? Sure, yeah. Okay. Everything's up to date. Sorry. Yeah, we're both a little shaky today. I feel like I had too much coffee. Yeah, it's a pretty long drive. Looks like your uh, registration's expiring soon. Yeah, I, I even I said that to her before when we were leaving the house. I was like, you got to get those tags expiring soon. He did, he did. So uh, what have you got in the back? Uh, like mulch, um, the, the manure, um, from the, the, the bur like a chicken manure, and then uh, like, a ho like gardening supplies. Chicken manure? And gardening supplies. And gardening supplies. I think I'll have a look, if you don't mind. Oh, with the chicken manure and the gardening supplies? Yeah. I could just describe it to you. It's just like a mound, and then there's a hoe, and then there's a small handheld rake that's got mm -hmm. the three prongs. You mean like a pitchfork? It's a hand hoe. 
a handheld. It's a hoe you hold in your hand. It's a handheld device. Yeah, it's like you see a hoe and you're like, I need to get my hand on that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look. No, no, no. I, I don't think you need to. No, go ahead. What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. Just let her go. Go ahead. Uh. Thirty-six oh two. Copy. I gotta go. You guys, uh, take care. Thanks. Oh, Jesus. Go, go, go. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh. Again, for the people in the bookstore, when this is all over, you're gonna get a choice: public defender, which, you know, or you may want to get one of those fancy lawyers, and you may get off pretty easy. But we don't even get to that part yet until you come out with your hands up. Family, unarmed, we're family. Uh, no threats whatsoever with us, that's, that's our daughter. That's your daughter, you said? Yes. She's a good kid, put your guns down. She's different than everybody else. She, she wanted to do what, Teach for America, right? Teach for America, that's a good organization. Well, she's thinking about it. She thought she, about oh. it. Look, let's call it a day, we're all done. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone, well, so much. Engines on, guns down, let's Thank get you out of here. Thank you for your service. Sir, we appreciate your service. Mm -hmm. You Thank are you. part of the community, you work so hard, tireless hours, we'll handle it from here. We will yell at her. I mean, I will turn to her and go like, hey, this house is not a playground. You want to play with your toys and leave them around? No, -uh, not in this house. I mean, I yell. Here's the deal. She's a kid. She's going through a bunch of stuff. We've all gone through it. She's made her point. Let her go. Just let her do it. I, you know, I can't do that. I mean, do we even know that she did it? Yeah, we're pretty sure. I, you know what? We know. We don't know. I did it! <laughs> Well, there you go. Cover your eyes, everybody. Here, can, can I borrow this, please? Don't break it. Hi, honey. It's Dad. Hi, hon. I'm on, too. It's Mom. Your mom did the funniest thing. We all, we all, she was, uh, I'm looking for CNN. I'm looking for CNN. Well, watching the damn channel. <laughs> to be fair, I was not wearing my glasses. Uh, <laughs> Come on out, honey. We love you. We're not mad. And uh, I guess we have some talking to do. Hun, you know, maybe just get a plea deal where you rat out your friend. There is no shame in, in, in ratting out others. That's good. In the history of crime, people have always respected people who ratted others out. So come on out. We're right here. Whatever you need. That's a girl. That's a girl. Get your hands in the air. Get him up. Go get him. Go get him. Go, 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 go. go. Uh, no. No, wrong guy. Wrong. That's not who we wanted to come out. We don't care about him. No. Not who we wanted to come out. Finally, let's see how long we can get a nice proper burial. Young marmot, little punk of nature, we salute you. Rest easy, make all the noise you want, steal all the food you want. May you join your little friends, the three little chicks, the ram, the moose. Never again will you be behind a counter, your head sitting over an espresso machine while somebody reads a Nicholas Sparks book. I truly hope you'll never have to see any wiring <clears throat> or stuffing again and have people staring at you and pointing at you as if you had no soul. <clears throat> Get out of here and run around. Be free. Be free. Amen. Amen. Okay, so you guys need you to go take the back. There's a back entrance over on 33rd. If you have a clear shot, take her out. We did this. This is our fault. No, sir, ma'am, you're in a dangerous area right now. I'm going to need you to move. We take full responsibility for our child's actions. This is all us. We gave her too much freedom. We exposed her to too much too early. We let her choose her own clothes when she was two years old. It's, just, it's not right. You know, and we said, hey, we're these 60s radicals. You know, we're against the Vietnam War. We're protesters, you know, like, right from Berkeley, but that's not true. We were Joe Cocker fans. We just liked blues, really. White, white blues. Hendrix was actually, I, it was way, way too loud. I listened to half a song and it's, I was like, what is this? Please turn it down. It's all our fault. We got away from the simple parenting. We overcoddled, we overloved, we suffocated. And now she's getting into trouble and that's her fault. Yeah, of course this happened. Of course we're all here. Of course you guys have your guns drawn. You know what? Go ahead. Lock us up. Arrest us. Take us. It's our fault. 
All right, let's go arrest him. The parents of Britt Wilder, Chris and Malcolm, are now on trial for arson, overparenting, and overindulging. It turns out it was not the weirdos. It was the idiots. With us now is Chad, a former idiot. Take us into the mind of an idiot. What is that like? Well, you listen to a lot of trance music. Sure. Make a lot of comments on the internet, uh, usually with improper grammar and spelling. Did you feel your IQ shrink during that time period? I think it was always small. Well, you certainly seem like you have it all together now. You seem perfectly normal to me. Well, some people would say I'm a douchebag. Brit. Brit. Are you okay? I'm all right. How are the animals? They're in a better place. Oh, God. What happened to you? Tell me. My parents, they showed up and it, it's fine. Your parents? What happened? It's just, it's embarrassing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a pretty park. I've never seen this side of the city before. 